Okay, first you're going to need to open Betaflight. If you haven't installed Betaflight, you can get it from the Chrome store. It's pretty easy to get. And then you want to make sure you come down here and get your CP210X drivers. You need that to configure. You just click that link. There's other videos I have for that, and you can get it online as well. Okay, when you plug in, you should see this change to Scilabs UART. I have a Max, this is what it says on a Windows machine. It'll be a COM port. If it changes, that means you got your driver installed and you're good to go. So click connect. And then we're just going to worry about the receiver. So we don't have to do anything on this page. For other setup videos, you can I'll have them linked here how to set everything up. But for now, just go we're going to go to configuration, then down here to receiver type, serial. And the way it not comes is iBus. You can also change it to S bus in the settings. Of the controller but let's just use ibus because that is the default for the receiver so we'll make it easy this will also work on a big receiver that comes with the evolution and then there's other things you can change but that's all you need for the receiver hit save and reboot that's going to come back to the ports now on the ports tab we need to have uart3 selected as serial where we connected it on the board is uart3 so we want to make sure that's serial. Then here on the receivers tab, we can check it, make sure everything's going to work. So what you need to do here is power your receiver. So that means you have to put the flight control or the battery on the drone, and then also turn on the transmitter. Make sure your props are off and your antenna is on your VTX. So here, what you're looking for is to see that each channel moves in the proper direction and that we've got 1,000 to 2,000 at the end for ends and 1,500 in the middle. So here I'm turning roll and pitch and then going 1,000, 2,000 and in the middle it's 1,500. That's really good that the evolution comes default that, that way. You don't have to change anything. Okay, here if you move your stick and the wrong channel is moving, you need to go over here to the channel map to change how the layout is. So if your throttle is moving your aileron or something like that, and the AETR refers to aileron elevator throttle rudder. So you want to make sure that the stick that you're moving moves the appropriate channel, and this is where you can change that. Now that you know what those do, you can go over here to your modes tab, and you can set your modes up. To figure out which switch is which on the transmitter, flick the switches in the back, and that will move the aux channels, and you'll be able to figure out which one is which. And the default way that it comes, the aux one is set to both of the back switches, which is really strange. So what I did is I turned that off, and I'll show you how to do that here shortly. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you what I did here to move these switches around. So open up the menu, aux channels, and so five is, see, so four, so five, this is switch B back here. So what I did is I select channel five, and then here you can do switch B, and then I went over to the next channel, which is six, and this was actually on this to start with. So I hit that little thing, then change it to this, Nope, not that, this. And then six is here. So hit that A. And seven, hit the switch again. And switch C. Now you can look on here, it says C, A, B, C, and B and C. So if you do B and C, it gives you six positions on the slider, which not really too helpful. So I just did this. Now we got channel seven, which is this switch now. So that's it.